I'm going to start with a quote from Warren Buffett. So when you're looking for talent, he said he looks for integrity, first of all, energy, and intelligence. And if you don't have the first one, then the other two will kill you. What do you think about that? I would agree with Mr. Buffett, um, particularly if you're hiring uh, an experienced hire, uh, someone senior in the organization. You would assume that they've achieved something and they've got the intellect necessary to, uh, to function. So then integrity becomes the first thing, uh, energy second. So before joining a board, what would you do to assess whether or not that organization met your ethical standards? I would start with the CEO. Uh, try to get to know who the CEO is, uh, what their business ethics are like, do they have the same values that I, that I have in terms of doing business. If I could get comfortable with the CEO, I thought I could be a, a positive uh, influence. Uh, then the next thing I would look at is who else is on the board. Um, do it, do the, we all share a common set of uh, values in terms of the way you do conduct business. And then the third layer is, does, is the CEO successful in attracting like-minded people as his or her direct reports? What are some red flags that that's not happening the way you would want it to be? There are a number of things you can look at. Obviously, uh, regulators can cue you into things that they are seeing in their exams, internal audit in their findings, um, uh, whether they're finding noncompliance with your policies and procedures, uh, breakdowns in internal controls. Um, and you've got to assume that you've, you've got proper policies and procedures and you've set uh, appropriate internal controls. So then deviation from those is a real red flag. Uh, hotline reporting is important, um, whether it comes from your customer base or whether it comes from employees. Uh, there's, a, there's a mistake that's made uh, in many organizations that, uh, that everything that comes in over the hotline, if it doesn't actually talk about a fraud or um, some s suspicion of improper accounting, uh, that it must be an HR issue, and that's not always the, the case. Uh, what might look like an HR issue uh, might be a trigger or an indicator of a bigger problem. And I think if my memory is right on some of the reporting around, around Wells Fargo, uh, there were one or two of their hotline calls that were handled like HR issues uh, when it looked like there was more fire there than... Right. So Wells Fargo is a good example of a board that you don't want to find yourself on, right? There's a crisis going on and there's lots of questions about whether the board um, knew anything about what was going on and if not, why? That's a hard question to answer not having been there and I, I wouldn't condemn that whole board. Those were highly successful people that sat on that board. Uh, one of the questions I think I would have asked had I been there was how is our cross-sell metric so much better than our peers. Great. Thank you, Terry. Sure. Thanks for being here. Yeah.